What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. So I didn't wanna make this video, but I'm just gonna make it because I'm just gonna say it how it is. And the video topic today is why open pro heavyweight bodybuilding has become a death cult. Death cult, right? So if you haven't been watching bodybuilding news, I don't blame you. There's a lot of shit going on. But Luke Sandow passed away. Now, Luke Sandow was one of Redcon 1's top sponsored athletes. And his, his passing away was out of the blue. Everyone said, you know, what happened? Parent or the family, friends provided suicide as a report. It has later come out that it was heart failure. So... My previous video, if you guys are just stopping and check out the previous video where I talk about the most dangerous side effect of abusing massive amounts of steroids, and that is um, left ventricular hypertrophy, which wasn't the only issue I assume with Luke's case, but you know, it's just like that video just literally came into fruition and reality to, to like why I made it to just warn people who are abusing a massive amounts to get an ectocardiogram done. So Luke passed away. <clears throat> this is history repeating itself, right? Because Dallas McCarver, Redcon 1 athlete, you know, Luke was 30 years old. Dallas was 26. Dallas passed away. And when we see the autopsy reports of Dallas, super enlarged heart, ventricular hypertrophy, a thyroid cancer, all this stuff. It's, it's getting ridiculous. The level that these super open heavyweight pros have to get to and the motivation, right? The path they're driven down. Everyone's pushing them towards the Mr. Olympia, right? It's, it's almost unfeasible for the human body to be able to hold that amount of mass. And if you are, you're playing with fucking fire. And when you look at some of the other mass monsters, they gain mass a lot slower than what Luke and, da Luke and Dallas did. Luke and Dallas, you know, there's no money um in pro bodybuilding until you get to the very tippy tippy top and they were getting to the very tippy tippy top and they wanted to become the best like everyone else super hyper competitive there's no roles in bodybuilding so you see this thing come up where these guys are killing themselves right you're not like causing side effects or causing some damage i'm talking like you're shaving a decade two decades three decades off your life trying to hold you know 280 260 pounds of super granite muscle on stage meaning you need to be over 300 in the off season and all that pressure is on your heart the amount of androgens you would need to maintain that tissue on top of the gh you would need to cause that hyperplasia splitting of your muscle cells to even build that much muscle is aging you rapidly and is putting a massive strain on your cardiovascular system now i only bring this up because it's happened again and something needs to change right this cannot continue like something needs to happen and move bodybuilding in a different direction or in my opinion get professional medical advice involved much more in the heavyweight pros right just be like yo i'm a heavyweight pro bodybuilder like I'm taking risk. Please monitor me so I know if it's way over the edge, right? You have UFC fighters who get the shit kicked out of them and can possibly get killed in the octagon. They're going to see doctors all the time. I cannot, you know, I don't think Dallas got his blood done ever, in my opinion, looking at his blood work, looking at his thyroid cancer that's prevalent in his autopsy, looking at everything. And I don't think Luke did either. They don't want to know, especially when you're that big and you're pushing it to that extreme. But if there was someone who ran an ectocardiogram on Luke two, three years ago, could have reversed the past or at least extended his life or made him take a different approach to the rest of his bodybuilding career. Obviously, same with Dallas. It just seems like medical attention towards the super heavyweight pros, you know, it needs to be added in. It doesn't make sense how this is out of the blue. I think as a super heavyweight pro, you are in the most risk category as far as steroid abuse, obviously. 
and you really just prove how much steroids you need to abuse to cause detrimental health issues, in my opinion. If you would see some of these cycles that people send me in the DM box of bigger dudes, right? Not like me, I'm like only 240. Like I'm talking like big dudes, like 290, 300. It's, it's ludicrous. And they're not even pros who message me, right? The pros, even higher, even more risk. And this is a 24 seven thing, right? Bodybuilding, there's no off season, really. In the off season, you're growing and you're pushing the drugs harder. So you're really not giving your body a break, especially when you need to maintain that lean body mass. So I'm just getting on because this is turning into a fucking death cult, right? I watch bodybuilding for the personas and watching people better themselves and everyone elevating each other up, right? I don't really like bodybuilding. On the contrary, from all the hyper narcissists in the fitness industry, which there are a shit ton of them. I'm not saying Luke or Dallas was, Luke and Dallas weren't that. But they were pushed down that path, in my opinion, to meet their demise. And it, it, it's just sad, right? Because Dallas could have been a D1 football player. And if Luke maybe progressed slower, could have became a Mr. Olympia later, lived a happier, healthier life. So take that with a grain of salt. But comment down below what you think needs to change. What, what needs to change here? Like something's got to change because history has just repeated itself again we lost two exceptional men who are extremely hard working extremely dedicated extremely humble and they're monsters but where where is the people monitoring their health where is the people saying hey look i i get you want to be mr olympia let's look at this blood work here all right if you continue down this path your kidneys will die at this age or if you continue down this path you know, your heart's not going to be working that well. Like, I understand that with a suit, like, uh, if you ask an Olympic athlete, like, oh, would you take a PED if it, knew, if it knew it killed you next year, but you would win the race and they would take it? And I feel like Dallas and Luke were probably the same hyper-competitive nature. But at least knowing that would plant that seed on them wanting to mitigate, right? Them wanting to find out a healthier approach to do it because not all the super heavyweights are dropping like flies, in my opinion. The ones who gained the weight slowly over a long competitive career seem to be fine for a super heavyweight bodybuilder. These new guys who are coming up, Dallas Luke, who want to be Mr. Olympias and have a reign, right? They want to win consecutive titles, so they're trying to peak as fast as they can. And Dallas was on pace to peak at like, at 28, he'd be knocking on Mr. Olympia, in my opinion. Luke Sandow was around 30. He was ready to go. I mean, his physique was insane, Mr. Olympia level. So... Keep that in mind. What needs to change? This is becoming a death cult, and that's just my personal opinion. I'm a fan of bodybuilding, right? I like bodybuilding. I like PEDs. But the extremeness, and I'm talking extremeness, needs to either be needs to be brought to the forefront and talked about, needs to be discussed, and this needs to stop happening so rapidly because this is two young bodybuilders we lost. So, <clears throat> so I know, bummer video. Again, my thoughts and prayers go out to Luke and his family and friends. Can't even imagine. <clears throat> so my thoughts and feelings go out to Luke and his family and friends, but I just want to say how it is. It's not really an attack against Luke. I'm not attacking Dallas. It's just saying it what it is, and that's how I see it. See you in my next one.